Hello and welcome to our We Choose to Thrive Boot Camp video series. My name is Kaylin Rabenzi. And I'm Becky Norwood from The Woman I Love. <laughs> yes, and we are the founders of Women Up International, a platform for abuse survivors and thrivers to continue to help find help and healing wherever they are in their healing journey. Now, today's video, last time we talked about forgiveness, forgiveness of ourselves, of our perpetrators, and forgiveness of those who should have protected us but didn't. And today we're going to be talking about the ultimate gift of power of loving ourselves and this, as this is truly a critical element in our journey to heal, to survive, and to truly thrive. So, so Becky is survivors and thrivers, truly, of abuse. Learning to love ourselves can be a really huge challenge. What can each of us do today to start loving ourselves more deeply and more purely? Mm. Loving ourselves is one of the greatest gifts we can give ourselves. It is. <clears throat> yes, it's a journey. Yeah. But loving ourselves, when you think about somebody that you truly love, mm -hmm. you, you look out for that person. You don't mm -hmm. say, look in the mirror and say, oh, you're ugly. Yeah. You don't say, uh, I see all your flaws. <laughs> mm -hmm. you right, don't. right. <laughs> loving yourself is forgiving yourself. Loving yourself is taking care of you. Loving yourself has so many pieces. And typically when we've been abused or have experienced this kind of a life, it's difficult to love ourselves because we have lost Sorry. our self-worth. We've lost mm -hmm. our respect even mm -hmm. for ourselves. Yeah. And until we can come to the realization that we are some pretty magnificent beings. Yes. Number one, think about this. Think about this. The fact that you're alive today and have right? survived the crap that you've had to survive. Yes. What beautiful qualities came about that let you survive? Mm. What mm. amazing things have you done to survive that? The very fact you're alive today because I know Sadly, there are many that are not alive today because of yeah. the abuse that they had. Absolutely. But we are where we are today, and you're listening to these this video series today for a reason. Yes. You're yes. listening because you are beginning to love yourself. You're listening because you've come into that mm -hmm. and saying, recognize that in order to live and to thrive and to be well and to be happy, you have to love yourself. Yeah, and you know what? Amazing to stop. It is. I've got a. I've got a dear friend. He is um, a psychologist, uh, focusing especially on forgiveness. And I thought it was really beautiful. He was having a hard time with his life many years ago, and he he had this realization. He's like, you know what? I treat my best friend better than I treat myself. Mm -hmm. So he says, what if I chose to have me be my best friend? Yeah. And he says, and I'm going to treat myself like I treat my real best friend. He says, I'm going to become my, my own best friend. And he said that he started doing more loving things, more kind things, taking better care, self-care. And when we're talking self-care, this is, this is the inner love, the inner, the inner taking care of our hearts and knowing that, that all is going to be fine. And then we decide that we do want to go and care for our bodies and our minds and our souls on different levels. But think about it, Caitlin. When you think about how many times do we say, oh, I'm just, I'm just stupid. I know, um, right? Cut uh, that out. Um, Cut that out. You know, I'm not beautiful. Uh, I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, the, these words carry such weight. Yeah, they do. But As when you do the words, to... I am beautiful, I am gorgeous, mm -hmm. I am amazing, those carry even greater weight. And that weight, the weight of those words, I am gorgeous I and you look in the mirror and you say these words to yourself into your soul look into your own mm -hmm. eyes in the mirror and say these words to yourself because mm -hmm. as you do and you do this consistently you just love yourself and say wonderful things to yourself yeah. because that negative self-talk that you can get into such a pattern mm -hmm. you know um, and it's it is a pattern it's a habit 
Yeah, but it can be broken and we can create new habits, right? That's what I'm saying is that that habit can be broke. Yes. Break and we habit. have that power. We have that power to break that habit and truly reprogram our subconscious, right, to say, I am magnificent. I am gorgeous. <laughs> I am amazing. I'm rocking awesome, right? You know, when I first started <sighs> trying to do that, I'd look in the mirror and think, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and what is the point of all this? We all do and, that. And, we and, all do and that. it's Absolutely. like, yeah, you're just lying to yourself. And, you know, the the... The self-talk, when you've had a pattern of, of negative self-talk, when you start doing this, there is that period of time where you're like, I'm just a liar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. And yeah. then, but then you, know, you get to this point where you it starts sinking in. Yeah. And now if you can look in the mirror with your wrinkles and... Yeah. All and the, say they're beautiful. And they're beautiful. See and my cellulite on my backside is looking <laughs> good, you know. <laughs> but as you as you do that, those things become, you know, we earn these things. <laughs> right? Absolutely. You know, um, Absolutely. You know, and we're alive and we're well today and we're saying these things and when we look at ourselves and say, I just love you. I just love you. And that was the kind of the theme of my book, The Woman I Love. Yeah. Because it wasn't until I learned to start loving me Thank for you. all that I am. And all of our imperfections too. And, and well Everything. that's all I am because I yeah. all that I am include my imperfections, include oh. the time everything from my past. But I love me for where I am today and I know that it's continuing to get better and better. And that's the whole thing about our this vibrantly thriving series that we have is that as we begin to love ourselves mm. and that rubs off on our children mm. oh, and yeah. the people, our friends and then our communities and the people yeah. we meet, whether our community is a Facebook community or whether our community is something yeah. that we're doing within the community or Absolutely. in our churches or wherever we are and whatever we're doing mm -hmm. is we start to feel beautiful we look beautiful Yes, and you, you know, know what? You hit upon something, too, there. I absolutely am completely and totally in love with my perfectly imperfect being and body. Because and we are perfectly it. imperfect, right? Right. And, and we are. And, and But here's the beautiful thing. This is what's so beautiful. We fall in love with ourselves, and all of a sudden, as we look out to the rest of humanity, what do we see? We don't see competition anymore or comparison. We see compassion. We see love for those people. We see, as opposed to looking at, and if we're not loving our bodies, because that's a big part of this, if we're not loving our bodies, then we may be passing judgment on other people and what their bodies look like. But when we fall in love with our whole package, inside and out, then we look at other people's bodies and we are so happy that they're happy, that they're thriving, that they're living a beautiful life too, or striving and thriving too. So. Well, as we begin to, to love ourselves and that begins to become that glow that we have yes. about us, then I've had so many times recently, and I don't know that this ever really happened in my life before this time, is mm. people will stop and say, you're beautiful. And they're complete yes! strangers. Yes, you're like, oh, thank you. And it just takes you to your core, doesn't it? It does. Oh. And, and you know, but on the other part of that, if you stop and look at somebody else, a complete stranger, and I've done this in the grocery store line. Mm -hmm. I've told this to, to young women. I've mm -hmm. told this to boys. I, we, the teller, doesn't matter their age, man, you're so beautiful. Yes. And they walk, stop and they look, yeah. you know, and they're just in awe that somebody would say that. If nothing else, even if you don't say those words, that smile that you mm -hmm. give is a gift mm -hmm. because you're feeling happy within yourself that you you're, you begin to radiate and you begin to smile more. And mm -hmm. that, that's a gift you give. No, yes. if even if it's only holding the door open for somebody as as you're walking and you give them a big smile, that transforms. Oh, and, and you so, know what the power of a smile, really the power of a smile is nothing more than love. 
just right. done in a facial visual way. Mm -hmm. It is it's sending love to anyone that you see that greets you and that you greet back. <laughs> and you know the other beautiful thing is too is that when we do these things, we subconsciously are saying to that individual, I see the beauty in you. I honor the divine in you. I see the gloriousness in you because I see it in myself. Mm -hmm. And because I see it in myself, it's so easy to see in you. Mm -hmm. That right there is just, that's a gift that, that is, it's priceless. You know, you cannot put a price on when you deeply love yourself because then you can deeply love others. Well, I used to belong to, because I've been in business for a long time, I used to belong to a networking group, and I hadn't been there in a couple of years, and I went, went back and visited, and the overall conversation when people came up and were giving me hugs, oh, I'll go back, and we know yes. that, um, was, wow, you look amazing. Oh. And it's <sighs> simply, it, what it is, is simply that process of yes. coming to love myself. And that's where the natural glow comes. We literally glow. We shine. We vibrate light. We vibrate light. And if, if you were to have someone who could read auras, they would be going, oh, my gosh, <laughs> your aura is so bright. Oh, my gosh. Right? Because that's exactly what happens when we do decide to love us first. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I, I'm going to come back to, you know, like in Holy Writ, it says the, the second great commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. But I really feel that that's backwards. We've got to love us first mm -hmm. before we can even think of loving any other human being as deeply. Period. So, so true. There's no better way to express that. Yeah. Because if you can't love you, you can't love anybody else. You can't. Yeah. Not, not to the level that they not, want to be loved or should be loved. Not to the level that it makes a difference. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, it's superficial. It's yeah. the, It's the. It's the. It's just that little topping or something yeah. but it's not the deep real that makes this, it love yeah. that makes a difference and this deep real love is the healing love mm -hmm. it's the power that heals it heals everything like it heals the heart right well, even in our own families in our relationships with whether they're with our children or our yeah. mates um when you when you're loving yourself mm. a whole lot and you're really vibrating that it vibrates to our children. It yeah. shines as an example to our children, to our mates. And as we stop being critical of our mm. mates, and because we've come to that place of being okay wherever we are, yeah. um, it starts to blossom in within within them. They, they start to see the light, and they see that they they feel it because we don't have to do it with words. We can yeah. do it with with it, stop being so judgmental, stop being so demanding, stop being so critical. You yeah. know, these are all parts of as we love ourselves, we don't have the need to be that way. And here's the other critical element too: is it's a humility, it's love, that's a humble love because we recognize the true source that it comes from a higher power whatever that higher power anyone calls it whether it's higher consciousness god um holy spirit infinite intelligence whatever anyone chooses to call it that that love is humble because we when we're talking this healing love it's a humility this gratitude that we have and this love, this authentic love that we have because we don't want it to go into the narcissistic realms. No, no. Right? No, this is a wholesome, wholesomeness. This is wholesome it's, and pure, yes. It's not boastful. It's yes. just this deep feeling of contentment. And, yeah, without even saying any words. And flowing. It's mm. a flow it that happens in your flow. life as you begin to get this way. Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. And oh. I know that, you know, for me, this loving self, it doesn't mean that, that there aren't triggers that happen in our life, but the impact of those triggers don't stick for so long. They, yeah. you know, you're able to kind of recognize them for what they are and, and assess what's the situation. And maybe it's a day when you're kind of feeling a little bit low for whatever reason, but you're able to what I have seen in myself is I'm able to bounce back and it doesn't have mm. the impact yeah. that, that it's had on me in the past because mm -hmm. so many times situations in a family that come up that were situations that were not 
can, you know, not in the higher vibrations. Yeah. Um, you know, you could go into depression for weeks over the thing. Oh, absolutely. But, but now I, I catch it. I, mm -hmm. I watch for, I have got little tools that I use because sometimes if I feel it coming on, I'll just start singing a fun song. Yeah. And you don't want to hear me sing, right? <laughs> I don't know. It might be kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe on a karaoke night. <laughs> but, oh, I love but yeah, it. Yeah, you, you know, you start to find a different tool set to use that for when times become a trigger, yeah. um, that that you're able to rise above it much quicker and much more at ease than yeah. maybe you ever were able to be do it before. You know, and, and I think that this this really takes us into our, our next element here because really what it comes down to is each healing journey is a spiritual journey. Whether individuals recognize it or not, we are body and spirit. And when this happens is it takes us into our soul and forces us to look inside and see what's really there. And what we find is that really we are all connected. Each one of us, as you mentioned, our sisterhood, our brotherhood, we are connected. We are part of each other, and that includes who's violated us. You know, they're part of, of, of this connectedness that we have. So how can this knowledge that we are all connected help us love ourselves more deeply? Oh my goodness. Um, knowing the connections is it's it's recognizing the, the roles that we've all played but also yeah. recognizing that the role that we play now in rising above and loving yeah. and forgiving and all the other things that we've already talked about um, changes the the impact yeah. it changes the the devastating effects because yeah. it it transforms it into something mm -hmm. a strength you know yeah. and you know for all that's happened in the past recognizing that looking at ourselves and looking at we are alive today and we are thriving mm -hmm. and we are doing well yeah. um you know changes so many things mm -hmm. and i think it, it impacts lives so much and whether it impacts the, the perpetrator or not, I mm -hmm. think in, in the deepest part of their soul, it does. But, I agree. And, and some are not able to handle that um, mm -hmm. and are not willing to handle it. But whether that, that's, not, that's a choice not for us to make, and I it's do. not up to us to change them. It's Thank up you. to us to change ourselves and take care of ourselves. So this reminds me, I've got, uh, I was talking to some of my clients here a couple of weeks ago, and um, they had this one potential client coming into their office, and they're like, oh, his, he's just a very toxic person. And they made a conscious choice to say, you know what, you'd be better served by going down the road because right now we're, we're, we're pretty booked. And, and the reason that they did that is, and I thought this was very interesting. They knew that they had reached such a level of, of enlightenment and love of self that they knew for them that it would be really devastating to have someone come in who would bring that, that vibration down and bring that love down. But here's what I told them. I said, you know what? This is what would have naturally happened if you had chosen to bring this individual into your business. This is what would have taken place. Because you are shining so brightly, your light would be much too bright for this individual. They naturally would have said, you know what, I'm going to go down the road. This isn't a fit for me because they can't handle that light. Now, see, that's their choice, and that's beautiful. That is well, beautiful. I've seen that happen for so many times. And the, the number one thing is making a choice of who you're going to surround yourself with. Yes. Really, yes. really, really important. Truly. If, if, if people in your environment are toxic mm -hmm. and you're in your healing process and we all continue in our healing process, mm -hmm. if you need, it's so important to remove yourself Yes. And not let yourself stay in a toxic environment. On the yeah. other hand, when people walk into our environment and they are toxic, they, they really don't want to be around us too much. <laughs> they don't. Because and, this, and this they, is what will happen. They go their way. 
because yeah. they don't, it's, it's just, they know that they can, I, I think it's crazy to say this, but they've learned that they can't control yeah. and they want the control that they've always had. So, so they, they, they're repelled by the strength that, that they, they see and the light yeah. that they see. So I actually had an experience with that. I had a past employer that was that way. And it was very interesting because she was very, she was a bully. She just was a bully. She was so unhappy. I'm pretty sure today that she's still unhappy. And I, I pray for her all the time, you know, that she may find that joy and happiness and really that love of herself. But it got to a point to where I knew that, that I was just too bright for her. And, and just from natural things happening, the, the shift happened. And I was so <laughs> grateful that we no longer had to connect on a daily basis because I was tired of the toxicity in my life. And she was tired of me not listening to what she was saying and being a bully. <laughs> she <laughs> was like, tired of <laughs> Yeah, I'm done having you being a bully to me. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to come back at you. Because I, I value me. I love me so much that I'm not going to let anyone treat me like this. You know? And that's the power that we have. Making that choice to say, I value and love me so deeply. And I'll be darned if I'm going to let you treat me that way. Because right. I don't treat me that way, so why would I let somebody else? Right? Very much. Very much so. So why is love the ultimate gift and power that we can give ourselves? Because love grows on you. Mm. And love, through you and around, and around you. you and mm, mm -hmm. love is healing and love yeah. and self-love is the greatest gift you can give yourself. And mm -hmm. and as you begin to love yourself, there's a lot of magic that happens in our lives, you know? Yes. Um and so it is something that is vitally important to the growth and to being able to vibrantly thrive. Mm -hmm. You know. Hence vibrant, right? We know that we chose that word consciously and, and, and we went through some, some various, you know, different words to make it be <laughs> the right one. But when we both landed on vibrant and vibrantly, it's because why? Because it shines. It, it's bright. It's so beautiful. It's so it radiant. It, it sparkles. sparkles. <laughs> it's, it glows. It's all of those things. It is this vibrant light, and that's who we are. Think about it. Here we are, these individuals walking around, and we're just beams of light, beams of light, beams of light. Like fireflies. <laughs> yes. Ooh, they're my favorite. They're my favorite. Absolutely. Well, we are so grateful for all that you have shared with us today and all that we've been able to um, come across and discover and and really just having a great time. So our, our last video in this series of the We Choose to Thrive Boot Camp um, focuses on finding our truth and commanding our inner power that Becky spoke of in an earlier uh, video that we did. So from all of us here at Women Up International, we are so grateful that you were here with us and that you chose and are choosing to vibrantly thrive. We are vibrantly we thriving. <laughs> There we go. We are vibrantly thriving, right? And some people may say we're a little scary, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, if you have found this to be helpful, we invite each of you to continue your healing journey through the power of the vibrantly thriving formula, where steps are broken down to help each of you, regardless of the abuse that you've experienced, to empower your healing journey and really make that choice to vibrantly thrive. So once again, Becky and I, thank you for being here. Have a beautiful day. And we love you. And we love you. Becky, let's show them our hearts. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.